In this video of ASP.NET, we will discuss about the SQL data source. Basically, SQL data source is something where you can make the database, the SQL database as your data source. Here, you can retrieve the data from the SQL server, any OLEDB database, ODBC or Oracle database. So as I said, here we will be focusing on the SQL databases and where we can write the SQL commands as well. The major benefit of working with the SQL data source is that it also performs the caching when you work with the SQL server that enables as the performance benefits while working with the SQL server database. Apart from that, you can also do the sorting where you can sort the data on a particular column basis, filtering to search for a specific data and paging where you can split the data in the multiple page if you have a large amount of data on the same page. So these are some concepts regarding the SQL data source. Now let's have a practical implementation where I will use the grid view as my data control to display the data. So now for starting the implementation of SQL data source, I'll come to the toolbox under data control section and will choose SQL data source. From here, you can come to configure data source where if you have a connection string in your web.config, you can choose it from there. Otherwise, you can come here for the new connection, pass the server name. For me, it's the local machine. If you have a remote machine, you can pass the IP address with the port number. And then I'll come to SQL data, SQL server authentication, username, SA, password, SQL, what, whatever is there in your system. And then you'll have to choose the database name from the list. Then say OK. And as soon as you will do that, this will be added in your web.config file. And here is the connection string. Just say next. Now it is asking you like whether they should add the connection string on your web.config. You will check this checkbox. Yes, save this connection as this particular name. Change the name if you want to change the name of your connection string. Then come to next and here you will get the list of all the tables which you can choose along with the views. And if you want to use or call any stored procedure or customized SQL statement, you can just come for the first radio button. So I'll come here and will choose one table from this and if you want to get all the fields, you can simply do that. It will also allow you for the insert, update and delete operations, which you can choose from here. And if you want to pass any condition, you can go for that as well. Like here, I'll say department equals to 30. So for all those employees who are working in department 30 will come here. I'll add this particular expression, we'll say OK, and then I'll come to next, we'll test the query, only one record, these three records will be there in the output. So let's say finish. So now my data source is ready, but where to show the data? For that, I'll come here and we'll choose the grid view, where I will come to SQL data source. So here you can see the data source is ready. If you want to do the paging, since we have only three records, so paging is not required much. But yes, if sorting is required, if you want to edit some, so you can do such things right here. Even deletion can be done. So let's execute this. So now here you can see the sorting can be done on the particular name basis, whichever you have chosen. All right, and if you want to edit some records, you can do that like this, then update. Obviously, it will get updated in your database. If you want to delete a record, you can just click and that will be deleted. So this is how you can start working with the SQL data source.